Hey everybody, I'm just making this video to show you guys how to fix the crash on launch in Game Maker. Um, first I'll show start off by showing you kind of what I mean. So obviously the Game Maker will launch for your first time. Um, you'll see the sign in register up here. If I click sign in, it'll bring you to the website. It's on my other monitor so you guys can't see it, but basically it just has me log in so I can click the log in button. And uh, it should log me in up here in a second there you go see successfully logged in and we're all good to go right well the problem is if you close it and you go to launch it again subsequent launches uh it will not launch it will stop right at user processing and it'll crash uh, and i'm going to show you how to fix that now most people uh, that I've seen on the fix, you know, they'll say just delete the JSON file, right? So you can find that. You can go to this PC, probably be in your local C drive or whatever, but wherever your user's file is, user, I just got my Domo 7, app data roaming, game maker studio, you'll see this JSON file. Now, most people will su suggest that you just delete it, right? So you just go ahead and delete it. Oh, problem solved, right? You go and launch, and yes, it will launch. Um, problem being that it just signs you out, right? So that's the fix. That's the big fix. It signs you out and you're back in. Well, if you're ever paying for the subscriptions and stuff like that, obviously it's going to be linked to your account. So you can't, you can't really count on that because then what, every time you got to come in, you got to sign in to your account that you have your subscription on, and then you're doing whatever project you're working on. And then if you quit, it won't launch again. So you'll have to delete that JSON file. You'll have to go back in, log in when you're in. And it's just the whole thing over and over and over again. Right? So, what I'll show you is how I managed to get around with the help of my buddy, um, get around, uh, this, this problem. So I'm going to log back in, um, and show you how to do that without having to delete the JSON file. And this way it should be more of a permanent fix. Um, as a way to, I, it seems like it's an authentication error or something like that. Like when you try to log in, it's having trouble authenticating with the server and it times out before it can ever authenticate. And so, Obviously, we know that if we already tried this, we already showed you, if you launch, it'll crash, right? So, um, just to just to show you again, I know, getting that YouTube time up, <laughs> but no, it, it'll crash. Um, see, crash, boom. So you can open up the JSON file. Now, it'll either open up in Notepad, or you can open it up in, uh, in Visual Studio if you have it. Um, doesn't really make a difference. Um, just most people probably won't have Visual Studio, so I'll just show you how to do it in Notepad. So you'll see user opera SSO true. You're going to change that. You're going to put that to false. You're going to go ahead and hit save. Boom, bam, saved, close. You don't have to delete the JSON file. Now it should skip that authentication uh, process, so you should be good to go. Um, and it'll still freeze here on user processing for a bit, but it should go ahead and skip through. Yep loading preferences, this and that, and then it's going to launch and you'll see that I am still signed in. So that's all you got to do. Uh, it will, it is, it is a lot better of a fix in my opinion than deleting it every single time you want to sign in. Um, but yeah, that's about it. All right. Thank you. Bye.